Hello dear friends, what a beautiful day. Come to see this beautiful sky and uh, blue sky, flowers, spring comes. It makes me so happy. So I found this place about three or one month ago. And uh, the happening is quite interesting. I came to this place because they built a new library. And I knew there was uh, a new library, but uh, I saw it always uh, construction, construction. I would like to come here to see, but it's never opened. One day I passed by, I passed by, and I found it's almost opening. And uh, it was opening, so I came in, and then I found a little coffee shop. Uh, just right at the corner you can see that that's a coffee shop so I walked in I didn't p plan to spend money because uh, I found that every day I spend three dollars four dollars is actually one one closing one pair of shoes because when you find some some you, you can save so much money so I was not planning to buy anything and that then I walked in and I found one person, one young man, and he, I asked what it is about and he said this is a newly opened coffee shop. I said I didn't plan anything, maybe I will come back. So I came to the, <coughs> to the library, had a walk, walk through, and then I came out and uh, and he said, "Wow, that's quick. <laughs> so I had some coffee. The coffee was good, very good. And uh, I just felt immediately there was such a beautiful and, uh, and different energy in that coffee shop. It makes me feel, feel I actually did not know much about this coffee shop. Just something that unspoken, unspeakable, unknown that make this place so comforting and so accommodating and uh, just make me feel at home, make me feel that I wanted to come here. I am interested, maybe because I'm interested in the I was interested in the person or maybe because I don't know. So <clears throat> I had a cup of coffee and I just felt that that place, this place had a beautiful energy. So I went back home and I searched, it's called Ada's Cafe. And I searched this word and then pop up a lot of uh, uh, some information about this. This is a newly opened coffee shop and it's opened by a mom and is for disabled uh, disabled or, or, or people with disability. And then I drilled down into that story and I found such a fascinating story. And uh, <clears throat> I think I will have uh, an, an, a dialogue, a talk a little chat with the owner of this place. Each time I came here, I found such beautiful energy and uh, people walking here in a certain way has disability. Maybe autism, maybe some, some communication or anyway, you feel that they are different from the other coffee shop you went to lot of coffee shop they have very uh, it's just, just different sometimes they are slower sometimes they talk slower but there is one thing I found that make me so so empowered and comfortable and feel home is the smile on their face and is the confidence on their face and they are they have been trained because the owner Catherine she has, uh, she worked, she put so much time and effort into making good food, into making, into training these people with a disability to, to be able to work in the workplace, to earn a paycheck. She had a lot of courtesy training. When people come, you say, hello, how may I help you? All these things. But training is one thing. There is another thing that is so powerful, I see from their face, is their smile, is their confidence, 
is they're proud. They are so proud that they can do it's just so empowering to see that heaven did, give, did not give them what heaven usually give us, give other people. But they have this very strong will of life. That's very strong will of life. That very strong um, motivation, strong will to, to live their own life to own their own paycheck and being proud, they can do it. They earn a paycheck, they, they are doing something that they usually not able to do. It's, it's so, so good. And I have chat with uh, a few of them. One person, her name is Linda, and uh, I said, oh, I saw you on, on the video because I went to your, your website and I saw you on the video and you, you look so good. I really, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy and to see you speak so well. And she said, oh, well, th th this is the first time. That was the first time I did it and I was uh, so nervous. And uh, I said, did you enjoy doing it? And she said, oh yeah, that's cool. And uh, I actually want to do it again. And you feel the proud of it. And uh, that day she was busy. She will uh, walk here and then have training in another place in the kitchen and then doing a lot of things. And uh, another person, I forgot his name. I, did, I actually, I, I was pretty not good at pronouncing people's name. And uh, I asked how long you've been working here. He told me he worked three or four years. And just so good, very, very, there is uh, this beautiful energy in this place and uh, that touches our heart. When we have a will, we can do things. Where there is a will, there is a way. And uh, heaven sometimes do not give us if heaven shut down a door, it will open up a window. And uh, we are not gifted. Everyone is gifted with a particular thing, a different thing. Our whole life is finding that particular thing. You may be good at one thing, you may be good, not so good at another thing. It's important you find your thing that you can do. Everybody no matter what condition you were born with, you will find your thing. The whole life is searching for that thing. And we have seen so many people born with good face, good looking face, smart, handsome, from a rich family, but it's a pity. There is something, I think something with the heart that uh, we all know that, that you cannot connect. And uh, yesterday, <coughs> or the day before yesterday, I did a video. <coughs> I said that uh, <coughs> it's very unfortunate and it really made me so angry. Now I start not to be angry. I actually had sympathy for them. Heaven has given them good faith, good intelligence, but heaven just missed one part, give them a good heart. It's a pity. It's a pity. We should be sympathy for them. And uh, heaven did not give me something, neither. But uh, we make the best of what we have. We make the best of our weakness and make it into a strength. And uh, it's just a very, I'm sorry, I should be freezing up. Oh, okay. You Hello, look dear so friends. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I met with the person who owned this place and started all this. 
and I am so happy to see you, Catherine. Maybe you will tell us oh, thank uh, your you. name and or how this story gets started. Thank you, thank you. I'm I'm honored and touched that you are interested in yes. this story. Thank you. We, um, you know, the the story started 26 years ago with um, my twin boys that were born very prematurely and they were in the hospital for a long time, um, about nine months wow. in the neonatal intensive care unit. Wow. And that was a very scary time. Yeah. Um, we didn't know if they would live and anyway, wow. but they lived, they're, they're miracles. And mm. the boys, um, my one son, Charlie had, mm. um, something called an intracranial bleed mm -hmm. in his brain. Mm -hmm. And that's common in premature babies that are that small. They were mm -hmm. a pound, a, about a pound and a half each. <gasps> they were very tiny. Yeah. And Charlie, um, Charlie had something again, in, it was a bleed in his brain. And the doctors told us that he, the prognosis for him was not very good. Oh. That in terms of what he would be able to do in his life. But I did not believe them. <laughs> because Charlie, Charlie, I would read to him. I would take books in and read to them in the, when they're in their little incubators. Yeah. And he would track me with his eyes. Oh. So I knew that he was there. He, he was with me. And he was, he was understanding something. Wonderful. Anyway, so they started to grow and they got off their oxygen tanks and feeding tubes and then they were in school and um, you know the path was different for my two sons yes and so when Charlie started went got to middle school I started to ask what will a path be what would his path be if he is not going to go to college yeah. what sort of programs are there available for a student like Charlie and some of his friends. Mm -hmm. And I'd done a lot of volunteering in his classroom and um, so I was very comfortable with this group of students with a variety of disabilities. So the, the school district then told me that there was one program and it was the, the Veterans Hospital. Mm -hmm. So the students that um, if they wanted to get some vocational training, they would go, they would get on a bus and they would be bused to the vocational or to the VA hospital up on, on um, Foothill Expressway. Oh. And I said, well, that's so. I went and I looked yeah. at it. It's a fine program. Yeah. But I thought it's hard enough if you have a disability uh -huh. and you already feel different. Yes. But then to be sent away hmm. to to learn some skills for hmm. your life hmm. it didn't seem right. Yeah. So so I asked. I said, well. I used to have a catering business in Los Angeles, oh. and I said to the school district, could I, could I start a program here on, on the campus oh. for the students mm. so that they would learn how to make coffee and banana bread and, you know, and learn some functional math skills and, yeah. and get to interact with the, their community yeah. so that they would be a part of their community. So the school district said, well, sure, if, you're, if, you, if you will pay for it and you will volunteer for it, if you will do it all, you are welcome to do that. So I said, great. So, so I started that at Terman Middle School. And, um, and then Charlie and this, his group of friends, we ran a cafe at the school and it's still going now. It's uh -huh. wonderful. Oh. And, um, and then we started one at Gunn High School uh -huh. and we expanded the menu and then we taught them how to make frittatas and, you know, just uh, we got an espresso machine and taught yeah. them how to make espresso drinks. Yeah. So they were very popular yes. on their campus. Oh. So that was a, it was such a great thing. And then we got other students involved, you know, students that were looking for maybe some volunteer hours. Uh -huh. So we got them involved. And then mm. that combination of, of high school students mm. and the students from the special education class working yeah. together was, oh. it was like magic. It was yes. so good. Um, they, the students love me, but they love each other more because the students in the special day class wanted to get to hang out with the kids, you know, their own age and feel like they were part of something. So it was a good thing. So after that, we said, well, we, we need to take this into the public. Mm 
Yes. So we waited for a long time and looked for space, and it was everything is so expensive around here. So um, we competed to to be the vendor of this cafe space, and we're very lucky and thankful that um, that we have done a good job. <laughs> yes. Yes. And and that the city uh, yeah. believed in us. Yes. So we're very excited to yeah. be here. And and uh, another thing I found. The other day I ordered some food every time I found it. it's honest and very very it's good food honest authentic and generous thank you and it's not just uh, the normal fast food it's so much different you. you must put a lot of effort into did you design all these yes things? yes I mean I I love good food yeah. and, and, and I think the good food brings people together yes Yes. So it needs it all is about the right yeah. the right intentions. Yes. So our, our intentions are to elevate our employees. Yes. No matter who they are, whether yes. you have a disability or whether yes. you're you know or you're a young guy and you yeah. you know you you're, you're in college, we're there to help everybody. Yes. be elevated. Yes. So that's the goal. Yes. So the food needs to be the same way or else it doesn't match the intention. So we we do we put a lot of care into the food that we make. We use, you know, all organic vegetables and, you know, cage-free eggs and, and um, everything is, is pretty much organic and so it's, we feel good about that. Yeah, and another thing I found is more interesting in your own story. You put a little flower there and mm -hmm. you must have a very good life. And before you had kids, how was the kids changed your life or before? Mm. Um, I, I think I think you had a very good life, I, and you I, have a taste, and uh, I, I like mm. nice things. Yeah, and I like to do nice things for other people. Mm. And 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 it's about it's about what you see exactly. and what you touch and what you hear and what you feel and taste. It's it's all about. Um, I, I think I'm probably pretty sensory ori oriented. Um, but in terms of my life before, I I think I think before, I thought I knew what perfect. Right? But when you have children and then if you have any sort of struggle in your life, I think yes. you, you learn that perfection is different than maybe what you thought it was. So perfection is, is really my wonderful employees it's because they, they give me so much every day. Yes. Um, yeah. They feed my soul and um, they, they come to work ready to be at work and excited to be a part of something. I think, I think what I've learned is that we all want to belong. We all want to be a part of a community. And so we're creating community and hopefully understanding so that people that maybe have never um, experienced someone with a disability will understand, oh, they're just like anybody. We're all like each other. And we exactly. all want to belong. Yes. We yes. all want to be a part of something. Yeah. So. And the most important and empowering things that make this place is your heart into oh. it. And your heart inspired your employees' heart. Mm. And they, they feed you, you feed them. It's just the perfect combination. Yes. I am so happy. Well, I am honored that you see that. And, I, I, and touch, yes. thank you. I, there might, might be more questions people asking after this video. Oh, okay. I hope maybe <laughs> we can I'm do another I'm happy to, I'm happy yeah. to. Thank, thank you, you thank so you. much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye You're bye. so good. Thank you. You're so Okay, so after our talk, I had a little further uh, chat with her. And uh, it's just so inspiring to talk with uh, a person who has put so much effort into life and make the best of it. Life could be hard no matter you were born with a silver spoon or Whatever kind, you, whatever kind of life you were born with, life is hard. It's how you make the best out of it. How you make it. Happy Everlady, I hope this story gives some smile to your face and gives some strength to your heart. Happy Everlady. We are lucky to breathe the fresh air. Okay, so here is let's walk. 
this is the library the newly built library and this is the coffee shop this beautiful decoration and the coffee shop Adas Cafe now we walk in hello how are you good how are you wonderful and can you tell us your name i'm charlie hughes wonderful and uh how long did you work here i've worked here for when my mom opened the cafe that's as long as i've been here wonderful i take a small latte for here okay thank you you're welcome thank you <laughs> Happy every day. I hope this story brings some smile on your face, brings strength to yourself. <laughs>